And uh, it's time to party! <laughs> now, before that, um, I would like to call on the Peaceful Foundation and the girls that uh, we are uh, we actually <laughs> invited to come over. Please? Mom Rosco is the one who's handing all the girls, uh, actually, uh, not just the girls, but all the kids that are inside uh, Unisimo Foundation. These children are um, being sent to school or actually giving, uh, helping them to develop themselves. Uh, so I'm going to give the mic to Mom Rose and she will be the one who will tell you what is uh, Unisimo Foundation is all about. Thank you, Mom Christelle. <laughs> Yeah, good evening everyone. Uh, I'm Rose, uh, the Executive Director of Onesimo Foundation. Uh, we're happy and uh, we really thank uh, Mom Christelle for um, supporting Onesimo Foundation. Onesimo um, has 400 youths under our care uh, for two years. We reach them from where they are. Most of them are abused. And then we rehabilitate them through, uh, we house them in a residential facility with a home life uh, spirit, like there's a parents. And then uh, 12 uh, young people live together 24 seven. And then we, we equip them, we train them to to um, to live like a normal one because uh, they most of them live in a uh, dysfunctional family, so there's no difference with you know evening or day. So for the first six months in our care, we teach them the all of life uh, training like cleaning. Uh, waking up the right time, eating at the right time, so then, and all. Then we send them for counseling, and then uh, to dental. That the, the care, all the care that uh, we we need to give them for them to go back to the normal uh, life or the uh, you know the cycle. And then um, after that, we we give them skills like teach them how to cook, um, to prepare foods, and then we reconcile them to their families because most of them have their, um, they left their homes because uh, of so many problems, you know, dysfunctional families, many stories. And then when we reconcile them, uh, two years, we send back, uh, we send them back to their families, and for those time that they are with us, we try to encourage them to go back to school because when when the young people lose their interest in the schools because of the bullying, the abuse, their suffering. Uh, they don't want to go to school. So during the two-year rehabilitation in the center, we try to encourage them to go back to school. And we're happy that Mom Christelle happened to come to our foundations and offer um, help for some of our young people. Because when they go back to their family or to their community, they need to go back to school also. So uh, these 400 youth under our care, um, for two years, they, they need to be trained and go back to the normal life in the community. So every year, we serve around 400 young people. So uh, I want to thank you for, you know, first of all, for Mom Christelle, for inviting us to this event um, and and uh, making us one of the beneficiaries because Onesimo Foundation really exists because of the partnership of people. We work, others contribute. So um, thank you everyone for giving us this opportunity and 
Onesimo is also an opportunity for you to serve. Yeah, good evening everyone. Uh, before that, uh, we have this simple <laughs> um, appreciation to Ma'am Christelle. Ma'am Christelle went to our foundations and they have, um, they play this, the boat is sinking. And these two um, <laughs> ladies, they hold on to Ma'am Christelle. So the boat is sinking. Now their, the, their boat will not us. Uh, anymore <laughs> so uh, thank you ma'am Christel um, this is a so simple appreciation you know and you know this little place you know in in the center 12 young people live and they do that little artworks so thank you mama so from joy thank you so much for having us tonight <laughs> I am I'm a cry baby tonight because I I mean this simple thing maybe for others means nothing. For me, this is treasure. Uh, but anyway, we have here a box of shoes. They are brand new shoes and donated by one of our queens. Uh, I would like to call on Reg. Uh, the Miss Runway Model Universe uh, 2022. Um, she will be representing the Philippines this coming May um, in an international pageant, the um, Mr. and Miss uh, Model Universe, uh, which will be held here in the Philippines. And she's donated this box of shoes that I asked Mom Rose um, if she can give me a list of the children who needs. Uh, shoes and all those requests was granted and they're all in this box and aside from that part of um, the um, profit of this fashion show will also goes to a municipal foundation and yes the reason why we're here because of you guys and not 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 just them but also for care of Musa Tahanan Santa Luisa and um, Kalaya where is Ginny? Uh, but anyway, there's a lot of um, organization um, or foundation that we will be helping um, because of this um, fashion show. And here, I would like to give this uh, opportunity to um, let the founder of Musa speak for Musa again. <laughs> so, I know that everyone stayed uh, late but I know that in your heart, you learn to embrace the worthy cause of the Musa Advocacy. I would like to thank every one of you, especially those who stayed late tonight. So thank you, Onesimo Foundation, for giving us the opportunity to help your organization. Thank you, Ms. Ranch, for your um, generosity in giving these shoes. Thank you so much, everyone.